Electric vehicles have become more popular and more accessible. One of the guiding principles of the belief that electric vehicles will take over from internal combustion is the falling cost of batteries. From a pack price of around $1,200 per kilowatt hour in 2010, the prices have dropped to $137 per kilowatt hour by 2020. There was an expectation of costs below $100 by 2023, by which point EVs would hit a comparable price to equivalent internal combustion vehicles, and the game would be over for oil and gas. But the global surge in lithium prices have led some to question whether this dream would really become a reality. Lithium carbonate prices have been dropping since a peak in 2018 of around $15,000 per ton to half that price by the end of 2020, according to Edison Group. But in large part due to the demand for EVs, the price has been growing all through 2021, hitting over $25,000 per ton by the end of last year, and now reaching over $40,000 per ton. EV demand is only going up. Some experts say that production can't scale because lithium prices will hold it back, along with surging prices of other minerals. Cobalt has gone from $30,000 per ton in 2020 to $80,000 per ton today. And nickel has surged even more from $20,000 per ton to $80,000 per ton, according to Trading Economics. The doubling, tripling, and quadrupling of key elements in lithium-ion batteries sounds almost lethal for the price reductions and volume growth in the last couple of years. However, there are a few other factors to take into consideration. First, while these elements are expensive, just how much of each one actually goes into an EV battery and the overall vehicle price? Just over half of the price of a typical EV battery cell comes from the minerals in the cathode, with 12% from the graphite in the anode. The popular NMC cathode type uses lithium, nickel, manganese, and cobalt, the latter three giving the NMC name for the anode. A typical high nickel NMC design such as LG's is 811, referring to how it has 80% nickel, 10% manganese, and 10% cobalt. While the costs of nickel and cobalt have exploded alongside lithium, manganese hasn't increased in price to the same level. But most of the minerals that make up about half of a lithium-ion battery cell price have gone up by orders of magnitude in cost, which could in theory mean as much as a tripling of the price per kilowatt hours of EV batteries. Although there have been some EV cost increases, for example, Tesla increased its UK Model 3 pricing, there hasn't been significant inflation from other manufacturers, other than the forecourt gouging due to the universal chip shortage. If the 2021 pack price was $132 per kilowatt hour, even the 100 kilowatt hour monster batteries in the most high-end luxury vehicles should only have cost around $13,000, but in reality, there is a huge markup that can soften the blow to the end customer. As Michael Liebrecht of Bloomberg NEF and Liebrecht Associates pointed out in a tweet, we've been here before with silicon. A huge surge in silicon prices in 2008 led some to argue that solar panels would not scale, but a year later, prices were back down again and then continued to fall. Solar panels are now less than a third of the price they were per watt in 2010. The high EV battery mineral prices are also likely to be a blip. There's nothing like a high mineral price to encourage more production as mining companies look to cash in. Lithium is being described as, quote, white gold, and there are numerous startups looking to exploit reserves because it's actually fairly abundant. Technological development in battery chemistry will also play a factor. If some minerals are too expensive, battery chemistry can be changed. NMC anodes aren't the only choice. There is also lithium titanate, lithium cobalt oxide, and lithium manganese oxide. Tesla has switched to using lithium iron phosphate, or LFP, CATL batteries, for the basic Model 3 currently on sale in Europe. The surge in the price of lithium and other current minerals used in EV batteries is a concern, but we've been here before. Just as the switch to EVs is part of the solution to the problem of CO2 emissions and climate change, technological innovation will find a way forward for EV batteries as it always has in other areas. The smooth curve in battery pricing towards electric and internal combustion vehicle price parity may have hit a speed bump, but the general direction of travel remains the same.